Okay, YouTube, uh, this morning we're going to talk about the song The Fez uh, by Steely Dan. This was on their Royal Scam album, uh, which was around 1976. I found that uh, folks either love this song or they hate this song, one of the two. Uh, I think it's a great song because it has a super great bass line. And if you can find a bass player who can play this song and you can jam along with it, the chords aren't that difficult. As before, I'm going to show you how to play the song, uh, show you a little snippet of the song, and then I'm going to show you how I play it on acoustic guitar. Uh, the guitar itself is in standard tuning. I have a little bit of delay on the, uh, the guitar amplifier, so uh, no big issues there. Um, the chords are relatively easy, and uh, I'll show you uh, each section as we get into it. So let me go ahead and uh, get started, and I'll see, uh, show you how I play this song. Okay, um, let's go ahead and talk about how to play this great uh, song by Steely Dan. First of all, uh, as I mentioned before, the guitar is in standard tinning, so no real issues there. Now the guitar, uh, the intro to the song actually, starts out uh, on what's called a C-sharp 7th, which is essentially a C-7th uh, shape that you would normally do in the first position. You just slide it up to the second position here. And that is a, uh, a C sharp seventh. So you're gonna... And you can pick that with your pick. Okay. The next chord is an F sharp seventh in the... So that's uh, essentially in your second fret there. You lay down your finger here, uh, and then you're laying your... Uh, uh, across the second fret, uh, with your pointer finger, you lay your ring finger on the uh, fourth fret of the A string and then your middle finger on the third fret of the G string. F sharp seventh, B seventh in the first position, that's pretty easy. Okay, then you're going to do an E seventh first position. And so it's sort of finger picked that, that way. So it's C sharp seventh, F sharp seventh, B seventh, E seventh. Okay, now it's gonna get into the jazz strum groove, okay? That's the funky part of this song. And if you have a bass player, you know what I'm talking about. It's gonna it's a great bass line. Okay. Now we're going to match that bass line, try to, we pull one element of the bass line into it. The, uh, the jazz uh, strum groove starts on an A minor 7th here on the 5th fret, uh, laying down your first finger across all of the strings, and then you uh, put your ring finger on the 7th fret of the A string. Okay? And you got to get this strum groove, so it's... You gotta keep that going through the whole song so it's okay messed up that chord okay so you're gonna go from an A minor seventh to an F major seventh which is made by putting your pointer finger here on the third fret of the D string and then you lay your ring finger on the fifth fret of the G 
the B and the high E string. F major seventh. Okay. And then you're going to use, then you're going to create a, the D minor sixth on the first fret. The D minor sixth is played from the D string down. Uh, so you're going to put your middle finger on the second fret of the G string and your pointer finger on the first fret of the high E string. And you're going to play from the D with the D as the bass. Kind of an odd sounding chord. D minor sixth. Okay. And then the next chord is, is E minor 11. Now some, some have played an E minor 11th as, a, as basically an open, open uh, no fingers on the, uh, the guitar itself. That doesn't sound right. The, the other voicing that I think is the correct voicing for, for the way I play it is essentially to lay your uh, pointer finger on the, uh, on the second fret of the D string, uh, the, uh, and the, uh, the second fret of the G string. And then you lay your ring finger on the third fret of the B string and the third fret of the high E string. And you're basically playing, so that's, that is the sound you want, the E minor 11th. Okay? So the way that sounds together at speed is, it's four chords in a row. Okay, one of the things you can do while, you, and I've been doing it, I sort of do it in the first two lines of the song because there's really no singing in the, in the song. I throw in the bass line there a little bit as a substitute for the E minor 11th. Let me show you that. D minor, D minor sixth. And I use that as a substitute for the E minor 11th. So what I do is I start on the low G, uh, or the G note of the uh, the low E string. That's third fret of the low E. Open A string, which is the fifth string, and then uh, third fret of the A string, and then just sort of walk down to the second fret of the A string. So the way that sounds is, and you can throw that in there every once in a while. I usually do on the first two lines, uh, sort of reinforces the bass, uh, what the bass is doing. So it's. Gonna do it without your best No, no. And I think it adds a good, a little bit of mix up on there. Okay, so anyway, that's the key to this song is to make sure you get that riff down. And you gotta practice that. Okay, all right, the next uh, part of the, uh, you repeat that again in the song, you repeat that whole, uh, uh, that whole jazz strum groove twice, and then you go on to, it's sort of a pre, uh, a pre uh, an ending of the verse. I wouldn't say it's a pre-chorus, but anyway. Uh, you're going to go, that's what I am. So it's an F7. Please understand. D9 to a C sharp 9. You sort of bounce, slide down. Okay? So let me show you that. So it's, that's what I am. Please understand. So it's F7, first position. Please understand. D9 which is essentially taking your middle finger, you put it on the fifth fret of the A string, then you lay your ring finger on the uh, fifth fret of the G, B, and high E string, and then you use your pointer finger on the fourth fret of the D string. You're not playing the low E here. So that's a D ninth, and you slide it down for the D sharp ninth, or C sharp ninth, I'm sorry. So it's D sharp, or D ninth, C sharp ninth. There we go. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's hear how that sounds at speed. Okay, that's what I am. Please understand. You sort of slide down. I want to be. Okay, then it's going to go to a C major seven. Okay, you're going to sort of play one strum on that, 
And then you're going to go to a C sharp major seventh, which is um, the alternate way of playing the major chords here. It's on the fourth fret. You're going to have your pointer finger on the fourth fret of the A string. You have your, your ring finger on the uh, sixth fret of the um, D string. And then you have your middle finger on the uh, fifth fret of the uh, G string. And then this, uh, uh, the little finger on the sixth fret of the B string. So you're going to just play those notes right here in the middle, or those strings. And you're just sort of stabbing at these chords. So it's Okay, so you're going to go C major 7th, I want to be or, and sort of climb up, stab, E flat major 7th. E flat major 7th is played with your first finger on the uh, first fret of the D string, and then you lay your ring finger on the third fret of the G, B, and high E string. And then it's back again to the C sharp major seventh. And then you end on a B major seventh with an F sharp bass. So you basically are keeping this shape that, that you're, you use for the C sharp major seventh and you slide it down two frets, keeping these fingers the same. And then you, you move your pointer finger to the F sharp note, which is on the second fret of the uh, low E string. Kind of an odd chord, but it's correct. Okay, so let's do that at speed. I want to be. And then you go to your point, uh, you go to your finger picking again, B seventh. Back to E seventh, and then it's back to the riff. Okay, so it's. Okay, and you're going to go back into the riff again, play the entire riff again twice, uh, just like you do, you know, do it. Never going to do it without the fez on. Do that whole thing. Okay, now you're going to get into the instrumental break, which is uh, uh, some strange chords, uh, but there's a whole solo lead. It's a great lead. Uh, I can't show it to you. Somebody else on YouTube, I'm sure, will show it to you. But anyway, uh, the way you start out is you go to an E flat major seventh. So you're going to do the, 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 the jazz groove again. Then you're going to, uh, this is the instrumental break. E flat major seventh. These are almost like all stabs. So you go E flat major seventh, D major seventh to E flat major seventh. Okay. First position. D minor. C to a B seventh. So it's so the way you play that first line of the instrumental is okay, and then you're gonna get into a sort of a riff with two chords, C major seventh. This is where a lot of the soloing is done on these two chords. C major seventh, which I showed you before, that's first position. And then you go back to the e, uh, e minor 11th. Back to C major 7th. Couple more stabs, which is an F 7th. To an E 7th. Back to an F 7th. Okay. And then some more stabs. F sharp minor. To an E minor. To an F sharp. Okay, and then you're going to do single chord stabs all the way down. So you're going to do a, uh, a D suspended fourth. Okay, then you're going to do a C, uh, a C suspended fourth. First position. B minor, which is first position B minor. To a, do a B flat minor. To an A, to a G. 
Okay, now if you listen to the way the instrumental's playing, it's almost like they're going down the scale, okay? Uh, D, C, B, B flat, A, and then G. That's going down the scale. The bass is doing that. Now you gotta listen to the record to listen to how that instrumental goes, but I'll try to do it at speed uh, uh, and we'll see how it goes here. B, B seventh and then back to the E seventh being picked and then it's back into the groove again okay so anyway you're gonna play the jazz groove again you're gonna do the uh, that's what I am the words are all pretty much the same I want to be your holy man. Okay, so anyway, you do that, uh, and then you basically end out on an outro and solo over that that jazz uh, strum groove. So it's. Okay, and so you just end out on that. Well, anyway, that's how you play the song The Fez uh, by uh, Steely Dan. It's a great tune. Like I said, people either love it or hate it. The bass line, uh, the bass players love this song. It is a great bass line. And it's kind of fun to build up your speed on jazz chords. So again, if you have any questions about this or any of the other videos that I've made, go ahead and leave me a question or a comment at my YouTube channel. And as always, have a great day and I'll catch you later.